What's up, everybody? This week, I want to showcase a few projects that I've been working on over the last few months that just recently got finished uh, at the beginning of November a few weeks ago. Usually, when I make a project, I'll try to finish it and turn it around as fast as I can. But in these three cases, I was able to take a little extra time and really make the videos how we wanted to make them and get them and execute them the way we wanted them to look. The first project I want to talk about is a Unity campaign video I did for a fellow content creator of mine, Kiera. I thought the campaign video we made was very effective. In the video, she talks about togetherness and oneness, and I feel like that's really what we kind of did with creating this video. We were able to execute those ideas in a way that we felt well represented the brand and the message she was trying to send. Some of the things that I personally liked about this video was the narration, the way I shot it, and the color. This is the first time I ever made a narration to go along with, you know, cinematic clips. And I felt like the way we put the narration with the clips, it really blends together well, and it tells a really nice story. So yeah, this is the first video. Check it out in three, two, one. Unity, the state of being united or joined as a whole, a condition of harmony, oneness, Andre Lord said it best. It is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognize, accept, and celebrate those differences. Diversity is not abominable or coincidence, but was created by the God of the universe. He intentionally and thoughtfully formed us in different beautiful variations. Embracing and appreciating diversity is the seed to cultivating true lasting unity. We all play different parts, but indeed, we truly are one body. And in order for a body to thrive, all of its units have to unite and work together, not against each other. This is what creates life. This is what creates love. This is what creates unity. There is undeniable power and limitless possibility that can be achieved through unity and diversity. But it all starts with our most powerful tools for change, love and understanding. The second video I want to kind of bring a little attention to is a music video I shot with a local artist named Hayes Alvarez on his music video titled The Moment. This music video was important to me because it was the first time I was ever able to work with a budget. And even though the budget wasn't that big, the budget gave us more flexibility to improve the production quality of the video overall. This video is also cool because it's one of the first videos that I used real planning with. Uh, I had to plan out the times, the dates, I had to schedule for a crew to be there to shoot. I had to schedule it between, you know, different jobs I was working with and, you know, just my school schedule. In this uh, video, I also used a few different color profiles as well. Uh, there are these things called log profiles. And so what they do is they're supposed to give you more dynamic range when you shoot. By color grading the video with the log colors, I was able to create a look that I've never really had before. It's not perfect in every spot, but I felt like the log footage was a really good way to start getting into color grading and being able to create more cinematic looks within my films. In this music video, I also got to use some new video plugins that I was able to access using my student codes. Uh, one of them being Denoiser and Colorista 4. They're plugins through this program called like Maxim Online or Red Giant. And pretty much what it is, is they are video plugins that allow you to pretty much boost the quality of your videos, whether it be through like getting rid of noise, color correction and different effects. And so that was one thing that I really was able to do in this video too, was use different video plugins and just experiment with new video shooting techniques and editing techniques. I'm gonna play a short snippet of the video and then I'm gonna link the rest of it in the description. If you have time, please go check out Hayes' video. I wanna run his numbers up. So thanks for checking that out. I'm about to play the snippet in three, two, one.
touch we all need when it's cold This that pick me up and get me high when I'm low You know how it goes, I bleed for my bros A G from the streets, follow codes, not the law And yeah, I stay involved, to the day we all ball And the day we all free The real is out the valley, that's the shit they call me Connected out on Cali, that's that money calling Gotta answer that quick, don't let your chances slip Homie, gotta handle that shit, get your hands on that whip Whole city gon' be yours, be the man in that bitch Got the DJ showing love, they demanding your hits Plus the pretty bitches lining up, they only your dick This shit coming together, man, you got it on lit You about to go on tour, boy, ain't that a trip? How we went from being piss poor to about to be rich, oh yeah last piece of content that I want to talk about is a little mini interview documentary thing I created with my artist friend Cartel called The Drunk Sessions. What The Drunk Sessions are is it was a music camp that they booked the Airbnb for for like three days. It was a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. And pretty much what we did was there was a bunch of artists there and they just made songs all weekend. My job was to film and just kind of get clips here and there and just kind of great shots that way we could tell a story. The gist of this video was to make it like John Bellion's The Making of videos. And so we wanted to show the creative process of what goes through creating songs or how Cartel and his team make songs. This is the first time I'd ever been at a writing camp like this. And so it was really interesting to see how all the different artists do their thing and have their creative process. The thing that I think was most important about this shoot was the fact that I didn't edit any of it. This is like the second or third project where I kind of was hands off on the editing and I feel like Cartel, the one who edited it, did a way better job of editing than I ever could because he had a vision for it that I didn't see. Uh, it was his idea and he took the time to edit it and I feel like that really made all the difference. Sometimes when I edit things, I edit it how I see it and that's not always how the person whose vision it is. So by him taking control of that and making it his vision, I feel like we were able to make the best mini doc that we could with the resources we had. Again, thank you for checking out all these. I'm going to put another snippet of the drunk tapes here, the drunk sessions here, and then I'm going to put a link to, like I said, all three videos down in the bio. Please go check them all out if you have time, and I appreciate you for watching. Uh, once again, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this week. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Peace. All right, so what's up, everyone? Today... I'm actually at a songwriting camp or something hosted by Cartel. They pretty much just come here and write songs, but it's been a pretty dope experience so far. Uh, who's just coming down? Is someone in the banyo? Hey, come on, no one's in there. Are you trying to be in this, Cartel? Is someone in the banyo? No. Then why do they need the light on? So yeah, right now I'm at the Cartel songwriting camp. I've never really been to anything like this, but it's been pretty cool so far, honestly. Pretty much what it is is a whole bunch of artists coming together uh, you got producers, artists, songwriters, rappers, pretty much anything you could think of. It's about four different people and pretty much what they're all doing is coming together, just trying to vibe and, you know, make music together. Like I said, it's something I've never really been a part of before, but it's honestly pretty cool. It's a whole vibe to keep it real. That's fucking hard, bro. Hold on, hold on. I'll say it again. I'll say it again. What's good, what's good? So, so, so introduce yourself. <laughs> All right, um, my name is Chan Christian Shears, but I go by the name of DJ Time Zone. So if you ever see Time Zone or any of that bullshit, that's me. Vibing. I don't know, I really would have considered like a last minute shit, but we decided like, hey, COVID right now, you know, everything's like nuts and like we just need to relax and you don't have time to like spend time with each other. So we thought this really good idea is like, yo, what if we all get together? Someone throws in, rents this, our, um, this Airbnb, and we just do this. We bullshit. Drink, chill, kick it, make music, and that's why we're here right now. Oh, that's why I'm not even in the right shit, bro. I was like, why does it sound like ass? I need the, the plugs, bro. Plugs. That's plugs. He's like the man.
master engineer. How is that different? Hey, yeah. Bro, that ain't even different. Cause you're ugly. Hey, I love you too, bitch. We make it beats. I really just wanted to make beats and shit, but if we need yeah, a song, we put it on the drum. We put it on the drum.